Hey everyone, welcome back. In this PyTest tutorial, we are going to learn about fixtures in PyTest. So fixtures in PyTest can be correlated with the setup and teardown functionality that we have learned in TestNG for Selenium with Java. And they are pretty much similar and offer similar functionality and how you can basically do the setup and teardown in any of your tests. Before we get into the detailed implementation, let us first go through the documentation and understand what exactly the fixtures are in PyTest. So I'll open the documentation and here if you'll go to this PyTest fixtures page, right? So docs.pytest.org and search for PyTest fixtures. So this is a big document, big, big, um, you know, documentation here, but I'll briefly cover what the fixtures are and the crux of it. You can read it later if you want to get a deeper understanding around the fixtures and all the details that are there available. But in terms of testing, I'll cover most of it. So if you see any of the test case that you write, either it is manual or automation, usually in software testing consists of four different steps. So you can break it down into four steps and that's the common practice. Practice. That is something which is always true whether it's a manual or automation test. So the first step as they have mentioned here is arrange, then act, assert and cleanup, right? So when we talk about arrange, this is something similar to the setup, right? So say for example, you are testing an e-commerce application. There is a test case to add the items in the cart. Now before you click on the item and click on add item into the cart, there are certain pre-steps that you need to do. What are the pre-steps? So pre-steps, whatever you do are the setup or the arrange. So say for example, launching the browser, opening the e-commerce portal, then browsing for that particular product that you want to add into the cart, opening that product, or directly clicking on the add item to the cart from the list view or any view where that particular product is available, right? So all these steps that I have explained just now are the prerequisite or the setup steps that usually you have to do before you can actually add the item into the cart. So launching the browser, browsing the pro uh, product is a prerequisite or the arrange, right? Step, then you act. So what is the act? So act is something when you have the product you click on the add item to the cart so that is what you are trying to test you act on that particular test so when you say add item to the cart that is the act which is the second step the third step is after adding the item if you are doing a manual test or automation test you need to verify whether the item has been added or not so the third step is to verify or assert in the pi test sense or in the automation we assert whether the cart actually contains that item within it or not and then fourth is the cleanup so once our test case have been verified we want to reset the state of the application to the state wherein we can restart our new test case so say for example logging off from the application closing the browser right so this is the usual four steps that we usually do in the manual testing or automation testing now, where do fixtures help us in this particular scenario? So the setup and teardown is mostly the common functionality that needs to be implemented whenever we are trying to test. So fixtures basically help us. So if you, if we read here, fixtures in a literal sense are each of the arrange steps and data. All right. So anything arrange and the cleanup is what you can achieve with the fixtures. So prior to running, prior to doing a particular act, on uh, for the particular test case there are certain prerequisites or setup that you can achieve using fixtures so you can define the steps that are needed prior to executing the test case as a uh, predefined steps say for example launching the browser launching the application in the setup method or the test and that you can annotate or decorate in PyCharm uh, in Python to consider them as a fixture so that they can be executed prior to every test case. So this is a theoretical aspect of it and I wanted to explain it so that when I talk about fixture and I explain you about the implementation, things get more clear to you, right? So implementation, you will learn a lot. People explain it, how to implement it, but why do you do it? That is very important to understand as well. Okay, so this is what the fixture is. Now let's go back to PyCharm and implement it. So here, so for example, we had this 
this test log of file right and here we say for example are trying to test the i'll change it to add item okay add item to cart all right so for example there is a test add item to cart and then there is a test remove item okay so i'll say remove item from cart so say for example this is my test to add and remove items so to verify whether the items are getting added and removed and just to test that right so there are two test cases two methods within this particular test log of file or let me quickly copy this and create a new file all right so we'll simply sorry add items already exist i'll say test card okay so now before we add the items as i have explained we need to do certain preconditions or, or the prior setup so how we can achieve that so say for example we have a predefined steps in a method so that will be used before every test case right so before we launch any test case we want to execute the preconditions and then after the test has been run we want to execute the post conditions so we can do it with the fixtures so i can define a method right so i can define a method as say for example setup right and then say for example i'm just printing a statement there i'm not going to set up as such anything i'll simply say launch browser and in the setup login so it will log in as well right so we'll usually say for example we are using selenium and we'll be doing all these steps in the setup step okay and we'll all do this when we are going to the framework section okay and then browse product so as of now i'm just printing these statements but actually we'll be writing the actual code to perform all these steps when we move to the selenium thing okay now this setup needs to run before this particular test right so before we add before we are able to add item successfully into the cart we need to first browse the product and then click on add item right so what we can do is we can just use the decorator okay so we can say pi test right and then dot fixture okay so that's what we need to do if you just hover over we need to import pi test okay so we need to import pi test and that error will be gone so this is the fixture that will be used to decorate or to basically annotate this particular method and this becomes one of the fixture and now say for example in this particular method i want to call this method prior to executing my test i simply need to pass on this fixture as an argument to this particular method all right now if i will simply let me edit the configuration and i'll add the configuration pi test script path and i'll select test card okay apply okay and now if i'll run it let's see what's the outcome so you'll see that it has executed launch browser right then it has logged in then it has browsed the product and then add item successful message appeared right and then in the second case test remove item from cart it hasn't executed anything right so it, it has just executed remove item successful so let me run this from the command line and that will be more clear so quickly let me copy the path and i'll say pi test hyphen s and let me execute that specific file so i'll say learn pi and test cart so if i run this now you will see that first it has picked up this particular file right so test dot cart in this file there were two methods first one was the test item successful add item successful and second was the, was the remove item successful so for the first one since i have assigned a fixture into the first method then it has done the launch browser login browse products and add item successful for the second one there was no fixture assigned here right so there was no argument passed and that is why for the second one these preconditions or the setup was not executed right so if i want to execute the setup for the second method as well simply i have to pass the setup the method name for this particular pi test fixture into the second method or the second test as well okay now if i'll go back and execute the second one second run you will see that it has done launch browser login browse products then add item successful launch browser login browse products for the second method remove item successful as well so this is how you will be using fixture now this is the precondition or the setup usually in your test case you will be having the setup and tear down right so say for example here i want to have the tear down as well so basically how can i implement the tear down so i simply need to use the keyword yield okay and and then after yield say for example the setup is to launch the browser login and browse products then the tear down will be say for example log off 
right so log off from the application and close the browser okay so that's what usually we do when we do the testing so after we have this implemented or implemented yield what we will notice now is that if we have used this fixture setup this is the setup method which has this decorator fixture and then this particular method what it will do is it will first run because the fixture is called here it will run the first statements the preconditions the setup methods first or setup statements first which is launching browser login browse products and then it will run the method or the test case which is adding item to the successful and then it will do the tear down which is these two statements so let's go ahead and run this and see that it works as expected so you can see that it has executed the launch browser login browse products add item successful then you know log off and close browser this is the first test case then sim similarly second test case or the second method remove item successful log off and close browser right so it, it is able to capture the setup and tear down both okay so the only thing we have to do is basically use this yield keyword and whatever we want to execute or whatever statements we want to execute after or in the tear down we want we specify those statements after the yield keyword apart from this fixture we can also use dot yield key yield fixture okay so if you just say dot yield fixture it will perform exactly the same way so yield fixture was the older version but in the latest version you don't need this yield fixture you can directly use the fixture pytest dot fixture and use the yield functionality to do the tear down as well okay but if you want to or if you are using the older version and fixture doesn't work for you pytest dot fixture you can use the dot yield fixture and then if you will run it it will give you the exact same results as we have seen in the previous run right so you can see that it has given me the exact same results for the yield fixture here you can see that because i'm using the latest version so this is deprecated warning you will see that yield fixture is deprecated we can use the pi dot fixture instead and they are same all right so most probably i'm expecting that if you are learning now or you are you would have upgraded pi test so you don't need yield, fi yield fixture anymore so you can just use the fixture as we have done in the previous execution so this should be perfectly fine for you all right so this is a brief introduction about fixture what exactly they are and how you can implement the setup and tear down for your test cases or test methods in pytest and this will be using a lot in the framework section of selenium with python and when we'll be implementing the actual framework and launching the browser doing the setup and tear down with selenium and python so that's all for this tutorial I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.